The 2016 Mazda 6 is the best car for you if you want a mid-size sedan that's now as good looking on the inside as it is on the outside. Styling updates give this already gorgeous grille these delicate horizontal bars, as well as some trick illumination. We'll show you that later. But the big change is in here, where some pretty ordinary decor has been replaced by more stylish, upscale design. It's a big improvement, but did Mazda go far enough in addressing this car's more pressing needs? I'm Chuck Giametta. Join me for a car preview video review of the 2016 Mazda 6. The 2016 changes come early, just two model years after the 6 was fully redesigned. Credit Mazda with moving quickly to make its biggest car more appealing in a class in which it ranks 10th out of 14 in sales, well behind the Toyota Camry, Nissan Altima, Honda Accord, and Ford Fusion. If success were based on looks alone, the 6 might be number one. But in a competitive segment where buyers prioritize roominess and price, fuel economy and safety features, a great body and terrific road manners apparently aren't quite enough. The lineup continues in base sport, volume selling touring, and top line grand touring trims. All have front wheel drive and in a segment where rivals offer multiple engine choices, including six cylinders, turbos, hybrids, even a diesel, this Mazda has just one. It's a four-cylinder with 184 horsepower. That's not bad for a base engine in the class, but its performance falls short of the excitement suggested by the rest of the car. Acceleration is sufficient at best. The 6 cries out for the punch of a turbocharged 4 of around 2 liters, the new standard in this class. Still, enthusiasts take heart that the sport and touring models still offer manual transmission. A six-speed automatic is an option for them and standard on the Grand Touring, where it comes with paddle shifters. New this year on all automatic transmission sixes is a sport mode that sharpens throttle and shift response. The difference is subtle at best, but there's little to criticize about fuel economy. You basically need a diesel or a hybrid to beat the sixes ratings, with the Grand Touring stingier still when you opt for the technology package with Mazda's iE-Loop Energy Regeneration System. And nothing in this competitive set feels more nimble. Tight steering and a suspension that invites you to attack corners makes for one very involving family car. Touring and Grand Touring models replace the Sport's 17-inch wheels and tires with lower-profile 19s. They don't filter out bumps as well, turning the ride into one the average Camry driver wouldn't tolerate, but they do enhance turn-in and grip. Every 6 comes with a rear-view backup camera. Driver assists include Mazda's Smart City brake support that'll stop the car to prevent a low-speed frontal collision. It's optional on Touring and standard on Grand Touring. Only the Grand Touring is eligible for radar cruise control and lane departure warning. They're part of its $2,200 technology package. For 2016, Mazda complements those athletic road manners with some wicked new lighting. It's a celebration of electroluminescence, courtesy of LED headlights and fog lamps and a delicate necklace of diodes beneath the grill. The setup is included in the Touring Model's $1,700 technology package and is standard on the Grand Touring in place of last year's by Xenon headlights. That cutting-edge lighting fits the spirit of this new dashboard and console. They're purposeful and contemporary, materials quality is excellent. A highlight is this 7-inch tablet-like screen that's new for automatic transmission models. It replaces a 5.8-inch display and is an improvement in clarity and positioning. It accesses various vehicle, information, and entertainment systems through Mazda's well-designed cluster of console buttons and knobs, themselves flanked by another new feature, an electronic parking brake. Overall, this is the sportiest cabin in the class, with a small diameter steering wheel and sports car worthy main gauges. Newly standard on the Grand Touring is this plastic panel that puts vehicle speed and a few other data points in the driver's line of sight. It's not as comprehensive as a true head-up display and deploys when you start the car and stays deployed whether you like it or not. 
Leather remains a grand touring exclusive, but all versions get revised seats. They improve lateral bolstering, but heftier frames might find them a bit confining. In fact, the 6 has one of the narrowest interiors in the segment. It can feel a little like a compact car in that regard. The back doors open exceptionally wide and rear legroom is above average. The larger folks will want more thigh support and maybe more headroom too. At 14.8 cubic feet, trunk volume is slightly below par, but it's all usable since Mazda kindly protects your luggage from hinge intrusion. The 6 is pretty easy on your wallet too, with the caveat that some rivals may offer more power for similar money. Base prices are competitive, and the automaker doesn't overcharge for option packages considering what you get. But at more than 31000 to start, and at 33400 as tested here, the Grand Touring is up against rivals with smoother six-cylinder engines and livelier turbo fours. If you're not among the roughly 7% of this car's buyers who order manual transmission, check out a Touring with automatic. It's eligible for the $1,300 Moonroof and Bose audio package, to which you can add the technology package with its navigation system and the LED lighting. The result is a very reasonable sticker price of $28.8. Mazda promises the 6 will someday offer a diesel engine option. That would be an intriguing addition. Until then, we'll have to settle for class-leading handling and world-class design. For more on this and other cars, trucks, and SUVs, go to carpreview.com and please subscribe to our Car Preview YouTube channel.